Well, hello guys, welcome back. Um, as I probably expected, and already got herself settled in. Um, I'm seeing herself, you can say their self, his self. Um, they can have any gender, no gender at all. Um, and Nori does what Nori feels like. I got that impression a long time ago. We tried to work together in the past, and I would always want to try to give Nori um, the proper things. And Nori was having none of it. Nori doesn't want me to be like Shinto or Buddhist or something. And Nori wants more like the casual belief of the people of Japan. Like, they believe, but it's not like they're not going to kill themselves to do everything in a certain way because Inori was like all these foxes all over this house can be symbols of Inori and, and there are lots of cats at the Inori temple so they will take cats in fact they're taking everything they're like I like bunnies I like bears and I'm like okay fine okay um and they came on really forceful and they really kind of blundered their introduction, but, you know, Legba is often the counselor here, and Legba says, you know, sometimes gods get excited and they don't make the most wonderful first impression. They get, in fact, they terrify people, and um, Nari had just been doing her best to show she would provide and try to heal me, and it, it, it gave me nightmares instead. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Inori. And last night was kind of, or this early this morning was kind of good dream. So that that happened, and they're just they're just in, and they have a couple things that they were given, and a couple more things will come for them. But they were really insistent that it not be anything from um, Japan, that it not be like Tory Gates or um, you know. Um, Kitsune or something like that. Uh, we already have like a Kitsune mask that's Loki's and we have all this other stuff that they laid claim to. And the gods don't care. Sometimes you'll have four or five gods lay claim to something as their symbol and I've never seen them like fuss and fight and like go after each other. Um, they give each other enough space that they're happy. And so they're here and they claim the one chair is their altar. They're like, there, that could be my shrine. And I'm like, you're so strange. So yeah, I'm getting a sense. I'm getting like um, a very relaxed version of Nori. I'm not getting, you know, like you, all the steps you have to take, like cleanse yourself and, you know, the bowing and the clapping and everything like that. I'm like, to me, that would be foolish for me to do because I'm not Shinto and I'm not Buddhist, so I'm not going to perform these rituals because to me that would be an insult for me to do it because it's it's not my religion. It would be like if I um, did certain stuff out of Vudon. It's not... Well, Vudon is a religion I practice, but at the same time, it's... I'm non-initiated so there are certain things I don't feel I have a right to do. I feel, you know, kind of like the outsider that works with them, but um, I don't feel I have a right to do certain things. So, you know, um, Inari is in, and Inari will sometimes be a fox, even though, you know, that's popular culture. Shinto priests are horrified by it, but Inari feels like being a fox, Inari's going to be a fox. And we played the... Um, Heaven Forest, I think that's what the game is called. We played that today, and we saw all the lovely foxes. And, you know, you can go around and gather apples and mushrooms and gems, and the game really has no beginning and no end. So that was interesting. And there are the Tory gates in that game, and there's, like, the shrine. It, it was kind of weird. It was like somebody went to Japan and possibly China and just, like, threw everything in a mixer and said this is close enough because there are like little um yokai hidden around you know like the yokai that's like a tree stump and it's wearing a leaf on its head and i think it usually shows a positive yokai and there are like a couple of those hidden in the game but you can't pick them up or interact with them I don't know what they're doing there either it's like this game makes no sense at all is this buddhism is this I am not familiar with Shinto belief. Is it Shinto belief? Or are there yokai in this game? Am I collecting yokai or spirits or gods or... I don't know. It would have probably made more sense in the original language, whatever that might have been. So, they're in. 
and they're not going to get like a big shrine in that because they were absolutely against that. They were like, oh, I'll never try to pick up a fox, but if you've ever tried to pick up a cat when they don't want hell, they're being like that anytime I think of a shrine. They're like, <laughs> no. So they kind of hang out at the places they like to hang out, and that's how they're having their shrine. And that's okay with me. Um, Sometimes gods don't want that really... um formal relationship with us. I think the gods like being here because I don't hold to tradition very much. If there were Loki in traditions, and there aren't, um, I wouldn't hold to them. Loki gets whatever he feels like getting, so do the rest of them. Um, and it's not a big emphasis on tradition and doing it the right way because, you know, according to one article I read, they're like, yeah, outside of the Shinto religion, people that work with Inari do whatever they feel like, and there's not a priest peering over their shoulder telling them how to do it, so there's no right or wrong way to do it. As long as you have Inari happy, that's the way to do it. And that's the folk way. That's not like me giving advice on Shintoism, which I couldn't even begin to. So, you know, there's people that will practice Shinto way, there are Buddhists that will work with foxes. Um... There are all the different religions now, of course. Like, I had, I don't think I mentioned this recording, my friend from Japan that I love very deeply, um, she was Christian. If you had mentioned Shinto or Buddhist or anything else to her, she would have been highly offended because everybody was real excited. We wanted to know what all these temples were like and everything. <sighs> oh, temples are evil and bad, and like the devils and the temples and everything else. So even though she, you know, she was native Japanese, she had absolutely zero time for that. And that, you know, that was her right. And it, though everybody on campus thought that was such a waste of having been born in Japan <laughs> to, you know, um, not go to all these shrines because, you know, to most of us, that's like a dream and vast majority of us can't afford it. I'll never be able to go to any of the shrines. So, um, vaguely there are some in VR and there are videos in that, but that, that's as close as I'll get to going to a shrine, more than likely. So, we've been enjoying ourselves. I do understand the part about offering fox parts. Apparently, they used to offer stuffed and mounted um, foxes to shrines. But again, I'm not Shinto. I have no idea if there's like a ritual you would have to do before you would offer it. Because I, I went back and I looked at that rug, which no one's buying because the rug's looking a little rough and if i got a fox like that seriously i would fall in love with the fox and the fox would have a name and i'd end up worshiping the fox <laughs> um yeah i would feel bad for the fox i would feel bad for the spirit because i to me i understand people using animal parts and feeling the animal spirit have helps them but you know i look at it like if i were an animal and you kill me the last thing i'd do is help you <laughs> I might plot revenge, especially if I was a fox. But that was the belief. That was the belief that if you killed something, you dominated it, and you got to use its magic and its power. So, you know, I'm not saying it's wrong. I'm just saying it doesn't work for me. I'm like, if I had that fox in my house, I would just be crying every day and hunging for fox. No, fox, he will make you better. And it's a stuffed dead fox, and it looks a little rough for wear. Um... I doubt I'll be getting that fox. I just, I look at it and I want to have a good cry because it was a lovely little fox running around until somebody stuffed it and made a rug out of it. And they didn't do a bang-up job of it either. It's like a dead fox mounted on felt. And they can take the felt off if you want. It's just like, you beautiful animal, is this why you died? So you could be this tacky AF pelt? Oh, you poor little animal. So, yeah. But we're, we're happy to have Inori in, and once Inori assured me it doesn't have to be Shinto way, it doesn't have to be, have anything to do with Buddhism. My mother had tons of statues of the Buddha, a lot of which I still have, and she just loved the Buddha, and the Buddha loved her. It wasn't like she had to go become Buddhist, and, you know, the Buddha worked with her. The Buddha's always been, you know, friendly towards me. So, um... You know, the gods can have that casual relationship with us, and it's not to put down religion. It's just that they know formality doesn't work for everyone. Um, the, a lot of the people that work with Loki found Loki through the movies or comic books or whatever, and that's 
legitimate, and I'm sure a lot of the people that work with Inari found Inari through this. There's an anime Inari Boko Boko or something. I forget what the rest of the name is, but it's like Inari something. So yeah, um, they'll work with that. And I think I'll wrap up, but yeah, they're in, and we're supposed to get a snowstorm tonight, like at like 3 in the morning or something, so it'll be too warm tomorrow for this snow to stick, I believe. So, you will be lucky, you will be spirit. Supposedly we got snow at like 3 in the morning yesterday, but I was, like, today actually, but I was passed out, so you didn't see that either. So, if you guys like what you see, like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you later. Bye-bye.